story from The Hollywood Reporter claims that actor slash musician Common has just joined the cast of the upcoming Suicide Squad film in an undisclosed role. DC fans will remember that Common was cast in the defunct Justice League film that was being directed by Mad Max's George Miller as Jon Stewart, a.k.a. Green Lantern, which has some fans online speculating that Common may be playing him in the new film. John Byers saw the notion that Common will be playing Green Lantern in the upcoming Suicide Squad. I sell. I, I, I sell that hard. Now, look, just because I'm selling it, that doesn't preclude it's a, it's a possibility. Anything's possible. But on a couple levels, look, I don't think a Green Lantern fits into a Suicide Squad movie. That, that just doesn't seem to be the right big name hero to put into a Suicide Squad movie. It doesn't fit. Also, I, I'm a big fan of Common when, when he does his support. I loved him in Wanted, actually. Mm. When he's in these smaller supporting roles, I think he shines. Can he carry? Because if you put him in here as Green Lantern, that means he's your Green Lantern moving forward. Can he carry a franchise? I, I don't think he can. I love him in the roles that he takes. I don't think he can carry a franchise. Plus, at 46 years of age, yeah. I think he is, this isn't like Batman where they wanted a middle-aged Batman to start with the Dark Knight kind of idea. I don't think you start a new franchise with a 46-year-old actor as Green Lantern. You can't ride that for 10 years in and, and that case. So... Look, yeah, he was cast as that. Anybody remember who was cast as Batman in that George Miller? Uh, Army Hammer. Army Hammer. Oh, was it? Was oh, cast, when no one had heard of Army Hammer. Yeah. Yeah, and they said, wow. some guy named Army Hammer is going to be Batman? Uh, now that you think about it, okay, he was a pretty good choice. <laughs> anyway, uh, so no, I, while it's absolutely possible, don't throw this out the window as if it's an impossibility. It's not, but I would be shocked. So for me, it's going to be a sell. Yeah, it's a sell for me that he's going to be playing Green Lantern and that he and that he could do a good job at Green Lantern. I can't imagine it. But it's a buy for him being in Suicide Squad. And this movie, the cast just gets better and better. I loved Common in Selma and even when he played a villain in Run All Night recently, the right, Liam Neeson yep. film. He's great. I want to see him do more. I just can't picture him as Green Lantern. Um, I Yes, I sell it. Same thing. I sell, sell him being Green Lantern by that he's in the movie. Yeah. Because I think that for the roles that he's played in the past, that his tone of characters that he's played, but he might play someone completely different, but the tone of the characters he's played in the past seemed to fit into a Suicide Squad. Yeah. Um, but as far as Jon Stewart goes, I want Nate Parker, man. That's the dude I want to see play. Nate Parker is the age yeah, to play. Yeah. It could carry for a while. He's got the acting chops. Not the common dozen, but like you said, his age doesn't really work. And I, and I agree with you, John. I don't think Green Lantern fits into this movie. That's not to say you can't pop someone in there for a quick scene. But I don't know if you just bring in Common for a quick scene. He probably has a little juicier of a role. Yeah, it's thinking of all the roles that we're used to seeing Common playing. There's that little Jennifer Garner film that was out like two years ago that I actually really enjoyed called The Odd Life of Timothy Green. Yeah. And Common played like a soccer coach. Yeah. And it was like totally a paradox from what we're used to seeing him 